Hey everyone out there in the land of YouTube, this is Annette Dion. I'm the host and founder of the Psychic News Network. Welcome. Today's Tuesday, May 31st, 2022. And um, it's the last day of May. Tomorrow's June. Get your rent check ready. <laughs> uh, it's been a harrowing time, as we all know. Uh, we have been tested beyond tested. Uh, for a long time now. Anyway, the the news continues about funerals happening in um, Uvalde, 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 Texas. I don't know why it's so hard for me to say that. Rhymes with v Vivaldi. Anyway, um, I uh, there are no words. There are no words. Uh, when I see Ted Cruz saying we need to arm the schools to the hilt, uh, uh, the, it really defies reasonability. And so if you're a reasonable person, this is really tough. And most people are reasonable. Let's just be honest. Even some, you know, gun owners are, you know, turning in their guns. I heard that. It was kind of in the background, but I heard on the, some news that a gun owner uh, turned in his, his AR-15, I believe it was. Adam Kinzinger mentioned that he also has an AR-15. He was in the army, and he maybe he has it left over from that. I don't know, but I don't think anybody really needs an AR-15. And we'll take a look at the cards, but I, I just wonder if, well, let's pray that it's, it will be a trend that people just start taking the initiative and turn in their guns. That, that, that's been a thing in the past where people just turned in their guns, maybe not in this country as much as others. The rest of the world is just stunned. I mean, we've been pretty much stunning the rest of the world for a long time now since Trump um, and just when you think it can't get worse it gets worse so I know we all have to kind of hang in there together because that's why we're here we're here to make a difference we're here to be agents of change agents of the light don't ever think for one half of a second that your contribution doesn't matter because it all matters even if you're sending five dollars a month to the um, March for Our Lives cause. Seriously, every single bit matters. Just to remind you on Tuesday nights, we just got finished an hour ago with our um, 20 minute, 20 on Tuesdays uh, meditation and attending time. It's real easy, you don't have to do anything. Just be with us and I lead you through a guided meditation. Very little talk, more of getting us to visualize the America that we want to see. If you'd like to be part of that, just send an email to me, AnnetteDion7 at gmail.com and type 20 in the subject line. You'll receive an invite every Tuesday. And as you well know, to join Grassroots of Democracy, Grassroots of Democracy at gmail.com and type AYE in the subject line. We still meet every single Thursday and we also meet on Saturday when Saturday is kind of a work day. We get to work on Saturday. We do a lot of, um, on Thursday, 7 Eastern time, we, it's a Zoom meeting, we get into some discussions, sharing information, collaborating, um, we set goals, we, you know, we get it done. So, so don't not be a part of something. I'm really, really grateful that I started these groups because we're really, we're, we're moving and shaking. So let's get to what's going on with this insane country that we're in. Um, we all know Justin Trudeau laid down the law in Canada. Uh, <laughs> I guess America's a dangerous place. So he's, I mean, I, I, I wish I was joking. America's a dangerous place. So Justin Trudeau wants to prevent Canada from getting too many guns because they can just go across the border. So. He's banned uh, handguns. Why not? Why not ban handguns? There's no need to have a handgun. 
unless you need it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, I can see for self-defense just to have it, but there's no need to ha have a handgun unless you need it. So it's illegal. Let me see. It's illegal to buy, sell, or import guns now in Canada. Can you imagine if we attempted that in the United States of America? It's perfect, perfectly reasonable. Maybe not to that extent. Maybe just have background checks. Maybe just, you know, just don't allow the sale of military weapons. Yeah, crazy. I know. It's crazy that we don't have that. But let's take a look at some cards and see where we're headed. While I'm thinking of it, uh, Corey and I are doing a show tomorrow night. The weather is looking... We had a beautiful weekend. It was like summer, and then it turned into winter again. Not winter, but, you know, I'm just exaggerating. It got cool. It went from beach weather to, like, fall weather. But it's still nice. Uh, but tomorrow it won't be uh, a good night for outdoors, so we're going to pre-record, I believe during the day let's take a look oh anyway so wednesday night look for a uh, bridge cape and look for our show uh there was something else i needed to tell you too i hope i think of it let's look at what's going to happen with gun control gun laws in the united states the republicans are looking really horrible and then you know i know that they're they had the NRA convention. I mean, they have no souls. Let's be real. These people have no souls. They have no empathy. They have no... It's, it's really... It's a different species of human being. Anybody want to throw out a, what we could call this? Besides malignant narcissism with blind lust for power and control and gross... I'm looking at three cards to see if we will have any luck on gun control measures happening. We are the most dangerous country in the world. And I'm not saying that to freak anyone out or to affirm that. I'm just saying statistically, we have more guns than any, per person than any country in the world. They're mostly in the South. Okay, so, all right, the justice system. Oh, interesting. Okay, so gun controls. Justice is laws. There will be some laws. Mitch McConnell just popped in my head. I, I know, it's not, it's not pleasant. But anyway, <laughs> I just feel like they will have to do something, but don't think they're doing it out of the interest for, of the betterment of Americans to save lives. They're only doing it because they want to not lose votes, and there are a lot of Republicans that want gun controls, too. Don't be fooled. Nobody wants to get shot in a grocery store, or in a school, or in church, or on the street, or, you know. Justice, I see. This is reminding me, too, that the DOJ is investigating the very lackadaisical response to what was going on in that school one week ago today. Heads will roll, the guides just said. Okay, the, the lover card is, um, this is a coming together of the people. It's not all romantic, you know, I always tell you that. It's in the context of the question about, are we going to come to agreements on laws, gun control laws? And I get yes. I get that that, that it is going to happen. The King of Pentacles, um, I know that Joe Biden, I just saw, was meeting with, is her name Jacinda? From New Zealand, I guess she's like the Prime Minister of New Zealand. Uh, they had a, that horrific shooting at the mosque in New Zealand and like 35 people, maybe more, died from this massacre in New Zealand, man. They were just like, oh my, they didn't know what to do with that. We don't know what to do with that either, but it happens so frequently here. It's just not as shocking as it should be. But anyway, Joe Biden's meeting with her and is looking to follow their protocol, what New Zealand did in the face of the, the massacre that they faced. Uh, I, I, none of us can believe that this is happening. Every single 
gun, every single shooting, every, I mean, uh, the numbers are horrifying. I'll look them up for you. Maybe I'll, I'll tell you what they were uh, next time. But the numbers are horrifying. It's just like, what is wrong with you people? <clears throat> and it's very scary because it's like, my goodness, uh, is this too big? Is this too big for us to get a handle on? You know, you, you gotta, gotta wonder. But the justice card, that looked like some laws will, will go on the books. Let's look at what's going to happen to Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz, who had no answer to why there's so much gun violence in America. None. Whatsoever. Um, let me just do something here. So, do not disturb. I don't want anyone to call me right now. Uh, all right, so... Ted Cruz. What's going to happen to Ted Cruz? By the way, before we look at Ted Cruz, the new moon in Gemini hit yesterday. Really? Really? I, I, I don't know if it's like everything that went on this week or what, but let me know. It, did you get zapped? I mean zapped. I mean like energetically zapped. I, I think that was going on for a lot of people. And I heard an astrologer say that it, it was one of the side effects of the new moon, but I, I don't know, I just really felt it. It was like, whoa. Maybe when the weekend, you know what too? Collectively, we're all connected. So when the weekend hits, when there's a tragedy that happens, a lot of people are like busy with their lives and they can't, it doesn't really sink in until they watch the news on the weekend. So it was partly that too. But that new moon in Gemini, for some reason it was a, and energy zap. We're all coming back now. Uh, so Memorial Day, it was it was it was heavy. It felt like a heavy day. I'm sure you all felt it. Um, Ted Cruz. I don't know why I picked four cards. Oh, Ted Cruz is getting with his buddies, his other GOP buddies. That, you know he's. What Ted Cruz is doing right now, it's interesting. It's so like, I don't know, high school. It's like, he's, Ted Cruz is calling up all his buddies that want, that want uh, more guns at schools for like self-defense um, and maybe to earn more from the NRA. So Ted Cruz is getting his buddies together and uh, and the six, six of cups and six of pentacles is like, at the same time that Ted, Ted Cruz is getting all his buddies together that are all about, let's get more guns, more guns, more guns. Yeah, I know. It's insanity. It's, it's a nightmare. We're in a nightmare. As Ted Cruz is rallying people to support more guns, more guns, more guns, because they're saying guns aren't the problem. I know. It doesn't make any sense at all. Even if you try to make it make sense, it doesn't make any sense at all. And we'll get to Marjorie Taylor Greene calling a petri dish a peach tree dish but i just saw that just moments ago anyway ted cruz but the january 6th committee has a lot on ted cruz and i've been saying this about him so here he is over here on one side of the the aisle rallying all his buddies and greg abbott included to um and that what's his name patrick anyway the texas cowboy people I don't mean the football team. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean these cowboy gun-toting types of Republicans that think they're all that, and you know what? And he, he's rallying other people like Governor Abbott and so on and so forth to be all rah rah on more guns. I'm telling you, I heard I heard a psychic today. I'm. It might have been. I won't say because I'm not sure who it was, but call called Texas an authoritarian state. Kind of is. But I have the, the January 6th committee. Now, I don't know if they've subpoenaed Ted Cruz, but they have a lot on him. So while he's doing all these, you know, shenanigans, trying to get people on his side to support his rah 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 more guns more guns make the schools like a military base you know with heavily armed guards and everything can you imagine i feel like i grew up in a different i don't know <laughs> a different lifetime or something because because 
unimaginable for anybody who went to school, you know, prior to Columbine, to think about what, arming the schools, and, and don't even get me started about saying teachers should carry guns. And, Let's take a look at what happened after the NRA convention. Um, I and and you know I got to give credit to that kid. Uh, what's his last name? Hog H O G G. Who's pretty much spearheaded March for Our Lives. He was involved in the. He was a survivor of the Parkland shooting. Anyway, that organization is March for Our Lives. They were outside the NRA convention, and there were more of the people protesting the NRA convention, from what I heard, than there were people in the NRA convention. So that's a lot of people. Let's take a look at what the after effect of that NRA convention is. You know, Trump up there being all, he makes my stomach turn, honestly. He really does. I feel, I feel ill when I think of Trump. Anyway. What's the outcome of the, well, the Four of Pentacles is negotiations that are stuck. Remember the last reading, sorry for the delay, I usually come back on Monday, but it was a holiday. But anyway, the last time I did a reading, I saw that the NRA went ahead with that convention to fill their coffers because they have it coming to them and they're going to need the extra funds. I really get hands down, that is why they went ahead with the NRA convention. Because they knew it was a bad look. How could they not know it was a bad look? It made them look like they weren't human beings. It made them look like they were, they were. Uh, I don't know. Monsters. They, it made the, the NRA, it made the NRA look like monsters to go ahead with that convention. But I got that they're desperate for cash, believe it or not. And I also said the other night, it just blurted out of my mouth like I do sometimes, that I saw Russia. And I had never, I hadn't read anything about a connection between the NRA and Russia. But then moments later, I saw Senator Whitehouse mention it. Because I'm wondering, where's the NRA getting all this money? And why are they so desperate for money anyway? But maybe it's because Putin's having a war and he's kind of like using up his resources. I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. Entertainment purposes only. I'm putting the pieces together just like you. But I feel like the NRA hasn't come into them seriously. And they, they needed to fill their coffers with money. That's why they went ahead with the convention. And... While I'm on the topic, Jim Acosta has an interview. You can find it on the CNN website with a representative from the NRA. I'm not sure what his title was, but boy, did he dig a hole for himself trying to say, like, I, Jim Acosta was like, why did you go ahead with the, the convention? And he was like, oh, well, you know, we already paid the vendors. It was already set up. Give me a break. 19, like, the children lost their lives. I'm trying not to think about it too much because I'll get too angry. Okay, the, the outcome of the NRA convention was, it looks like they, they made some money, not a lot. It doesn't feel like they made a lot. In fact, I actually have the sense that it wasn't really worth it. Interesting that I would get that feeling because they went ahead with the NRA convention, but I really feel like for what they did, what they didn't get, it wasn't really worth it. They didn't get the support that they needed, obviously. They, I get the sense that they thought it would turn out better. All right, the emperor. Negotiations that got st stuck at the NRA convention, they were just trying to make themselves go ahead with it because they had made commitments and because they're monsters. The emperor, they wanted to feature Trump. When is he going to go away? That's a good question to ask. The six of cups, they kind of, they kind of just sort of broke even, it looks like. 
The Wheel of Fortune is a turn of things for the better for America. Let's ask the pendulum about that because I want to know more about that. Was the NRA convention a flop for the NRA? Was it? It feels like it was a flop for the NRA. They shouldn't have gone ahead with it. I feel like they were really debating it and then they went ahead with it and it actually made them look really bad. That was a bad call. I mean, they must have been hard up for money if they went ahead with it because the vendors were already in place. Honestly, they obviously couldn't give the vendors their money back, but if the vendors had any heart, but apparently they don't, they would have backed, they would have backed out. Don McLean backed out and the Gatlin brothers, uh, one of the Gatlin brothers, boy, those guys go way back, huh? Um, Lee Greenwood backed out. I, that's what I heard. You know, I lived in Nashville. When 9-11 happened, I lived in Nashville. And then Trump made it his rally song, that Proud to be American song. I was sick of it then. That was in 2001. Good Lord. Anyway, so Lee, Lee Greenwood backed out. The musicians... Almost, I don't know how many, but several of them backed out. Anyway, I'm getting the sense that the NRA regretted that they went ahead with it. Because it actually did more harm than good. Okay, what's this, what's going to happen to the Democrats because of the Republicans being such heinous monsters? By the way, speaking of that, speaking of Republicans being monsters, <clears throat> I'm reminded, because Peter Navarro was in the news today, I'm reminded that when he was on Ari Melber's show several months ago and describing the Green Bay sweep for the, the, you know, the whole plan of the insurrection to take over the government, I'm reminded that Peter Navarro said, we had a hundred senators in on the plan. When Ari Melber said, you realize you're describing a coup. Navarro's a uh, pretty never, <laughs> nervous, ner nervous. <laughs> Um, uh, okay, so I'm looking at what the Democrats, okay, this is it. The Democrats will gain traction from the Republicans acting like monsters, like Navarro was describing, like a hundred senators were in on the insurrection. It's, it's a scary time we live in, I know. <clears throat> because of the Republicans' foolishness, this Marjorie Taylor Greene peach tree dish. She was actually saying that Bill Gates made fake hamburgers and petri dishes. What? Anyway, anyway, um, the Republicans are looking very foolish. There's some hidden stuff going on that the, um, well, the January 6th committee obviously knows. Um, that's all coming out in June. And the Democrats have more to work with now that the Republicans are revealing themselves to be monsters with no hearts. I mean, I feel like it's an insult to monsters. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> to, to call them monsters. It looks like the Democrats are going to do better because of this. I, I, I do feel like, okay, is this going to be substantial enough? Let's say on a scale of 1 to 10, how likely is it that swing voters will vote Democrat? On a, like, like enough swing voters will vote Democrat. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, nine. How how likely is it? Might be the wrong question. How likely is it that swing voters will change? Will just vote Democrat um, on a scale of one to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. About seventy percent of swing voters. Sometimes I have to get it going. Just warm it up. About 70% of swing voters would swing Democrat because of the gun thing. I get that. <clears throat> I get that. They would. 
the Democrats have to get their, their, you know what, together in order to, they have to get their message together. The Democrats in office have to get their message together. They really need a great PR firm. They should call the Lincoln Project. Okay, I'm going to see if I can get my song to, I don't know, some organization that could do a slideshow. My song about gun violence called Bring This to an End, it's here on my channel if you haven't seen it. Just scroll down. The, uh, okay, so do we want to ask one more thing? I do feel there are more shootings coming. So pray that it doesn't happen. I mean, mass shootings. Let's just take a look at that. Because there's always a copycat, you know what I mean? There's always a copycat, unfortunately. In our group tonight, we visualized this, uh, people turning in their guns and stuff, so. Visualize it, send light to blast, uh, blast out the darkness, you know, that kind of thing. Um, all right, getting that high priestess again. On January, the, the January 6th committee, on that topic of the January 6th committee hearings, and not this week, but next week, starting then, that's going to change the face of this nation. I don't think that this, that's the first time I said that. That feels familiar to me. It's going to be blatantly right out there in front of our eyes that we're, um, that we've kind of lost our democracy. Uh, it's going to be right there on full display that we've kind of lost our democracy. Now, well, you know, when people are voting for people like Marjorie Taylor Greene and Lauren Boebert, there's this guy, you guys, you might know who I mean. Uh, he's a Texan, and he was going on about Boebert on a YouTube channel. It's called The Big Texan or something. Anyway, boy, boy. Was he going after Lauren Boebert? I know I had a bunch of questions. Let's see what else. Let's see. Um, I want everyone to think about Ukraine because what I've noticed is that, and I mentioned this in the group t tonight, that a lot of our focus, obviously, understandably, shifted to the massacre in Texas and the prayers for Ukraine lessened. And I want us to make sure that we're still sending intentions and light to Ukraine because they really need it. While we're at it, we'll switch topics and we'll go to Ukraine. Let's do it this way. Let's say, let's ask about Putin. Oh, interesting. Wow, I just I just said Putin and I felt like he was dead. Keep getting that. Even though Ukraine is having a rough time right now, it's I I feel like that the there's been some really heinous like takeovers and and battles by the Russians as in the past few days and um but the light is coming in and the chariot is like, there's going to be some quick developments where Ukraine gets ahead and the six of wands, um, they're, it's, they're, they're getting ready for a different phase of the war where they're going to be kind of maintaining. They'll be maintaining for a while. Um, I do feel a shift in the war. I do feel, um, Gosh, I guess one of the military guys stood up to Putin recently, and then he was like, of course, barred from everything. He's lucky he wasn't executed. But I think, you know, people do get to a point where it's like, if nothing changes, I don't care if I live or die. That's how people get when it's really that bad. 
So let's just take a look at um, Putin. So much going on, oh my goodness. And you know, the thing is, it just tends to pile on and pile on and pile on the news. And, and like yesterday and today, it was not as many new disaster stories. I guess you could call that a good day. Putin, really sick. Really sick. I feel like the Russians are starting to um, congeal. The Russian people in the military, you know, the military families in Russia, I feel like they're starting to congeal. And then the, the guides are showing me that TV Rain, that independent news company that got run out of Russia, having something to do with that. I feel some communication going on between the Russian people and like the independent radio station that got pushed out of Russia, but they're, I think they're still operating. So, um, don't, don't give up hope on Ukraine. I mean, I know, gosh, you look at what we're going through in this country and then you look at Ukraine and you got to go like count your blessings in general, you know, just keep praying. Okay. Let me grab my iPad because I wrote down a few more things. By the way, if you haven't if you haven't watched Church of Spirituality, please do. It's free. Um, Monday, I mean, Sunday was, that was a pretty intense one, but it was an important one. Um, I want to go back to the gun rights thing. I just want to mention that the Supreme Court, I read an article that was written on the 25th, uh, this, this, and where was that? An article, the thebrennancenter.org. Okay, I came across this article because I googled what was going on with the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court is poised to issue a ruling in a New York gun rights case that will likely expand the scope of protections the Second Amendment affords individual gun owners. So anyway, the Supreme Court, our favorite Supreme Court, those lovely people... <clears throat> are getting ready to issue a ruling that would take away all protections for people. Anybody can have a gun. The, uh, this is, they're looking at uh, the uh, protection, you know, gun, gun protections. Uh, I mean, gun controls. For the general public will be uh, taken away and it's going to be easier to get a gun and easier to use a gun in New York City if the Supreme Court decides oh it, getting guns just needs to be easier if it keeps going like this I might have to consider moving to Canada not yet <laughs> my ancestry is in Canada part of it anyway so let's see if you want to read this it's brandoncenter.org it would mean that you could they actually want to expand the rights of gun owners the supreme court they're looking at this soon i don't know the exact date that would make it easier to have access to a gun and increase the amount of guns because apparently somebody thinks we need more guns pray a lot i want to look at the january 6th committee and what will be transpiring there uh i do feel that the doj is going to get involved in this gun control issue by the way um We'll look at that first. We'll look at that first. Let's see. If you need to lighten things up, do some chanting, or do or watch comedy, or as the beer bottles go crashing outside my window from the restaurant next door, have a cocktail maybe. Just one. Uh, lighten it up. Watch some comedy. 
That's what I really recommend. Uh, okay, so. January, uh, let's go to January 6th, actually. Um, a lot of the people that are going to have to be, uh, I don't know, like, heard at the January 6th hearings are going to really have a tough time with that. So let's look at... The Ace of Cups always comes up around January 6th. And the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. That feels like Liz Cheney, even though... She's a brunette. <laughs> it's not literal. <clears throat> the January 6th committee, it looks like, is going to um, bring a lot of pain to those who were involved for one thing. A lot of pain. Fox News won't know what to do, deal with it. Fox propaganda, I mean, won't know how to deal with this and and actually i i would probably uh, watch fox news fox propaganda to see how they're dealing with the gun the gun thing too uh the ace of cups full-on uh all the information is there um liz cheney is gonna look really good in light of this anyway i know i jumped ahead let's go to the supreme court thing Sorry, I'm jumping all around, just like the moon in Gemini. Is the moon still in Gemini? It's void of course right now. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> I keep changing topics. Mercury's still retrograde till, till Friday. So if you have a problem, I mean, I, I talk about Mercury retrograde, like, you know, not that much, but some people talk about Mercury retrograde, like, oh my God! Supreme Court. It's not that bad, really. It's a good time. Good time to rest when Mercury's retrograde. Good time to redo. Uh, Supreme Court and the gun taking away controls on guns. How's that gonna go? Ooh, there's a lot of dark money involved with the Supreme Court trying to make it easier for people to get guns. Trying to make it easier for people to get guns! We all have to participate in our democracy full on as much as we possibly can. Because that's why they're getting away with this. Uh, they're going to be in a, at an impasse. The Supreme Court will be kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of like in limbo. Yeah. There, it's, it's not going to happen. It doesn't look like it's going to happen. It doesn't look like um, the Supreme Court is going to win on letting they're the guards down on gun controls. No, they shouldn't. I mean, come on. <clears throat> All right. Tomorrow, to, we're halfway into the year tomorrow. Wow. I tell every one of my clients, I think every single one, life is short, time goes fast. Don't screw it up. <laughs> <laughs> what else um i want to ask i want to ask about the community of uvaldi you can't even imagine you know you wouldn't want your worst enemy to go through what they're going through it's 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 so horrifying let's see what's going to happen for that community Oh, by the way, I know that's a all Latino community, pretty much, and it just jogged my memory that there was a that uh, Asian band at the press conference today, which uh, Jen Saki's new person that took over that position. I don't remember her name. When she's on a little bit more, I'll remember her name. But anyway, the, during that press conference today. The, the the band, the Asian band, which they must be like 18, 19 years old, were speaking out against uh, racism, against Asians. 
and it really it's if you catch that it was really hopeful it really kind of made you go oh gosh i'm so glad you know this generation coming up they're they're beautiful people they're beautiful humans they're beautifuler than a lot of generations anyway <clears throat> i digress i keep forgetting what i was going to ask about <clears throat> Okay, the Seven of Wands, the Four of Wands, the Nine of Cups. Well, we, uh, things are going to get better. Things are going to get better. I see that we're going to come into a time that we're all kind of jumping in and doing our part. It's going to take some time. It's definitely going to be challenging, of course. I mean, can it be any more challenging? I shouldn't ask that question. But anyway, the it looks like more people are going to get involved in our democracy, and it's going to get better. So, but I was asking about Uvalde, and I, I just, I feel like what's happened there, one of the side effects of what's happened there is people are going to get more involved and our democracy is going to get better. And it's because our hearts have been ripped out of our chests and we realize we cannot go on with this hatred anymore. There was some talk about whether um, actual photographs of the actual crime scene you know, chosen selectively, you know, photos that, that were just, you know, jarring would make a difference. I know that was a conversation that was going on and nobody wants to see that. Uh, but it was actually being tossed around as do you think that it would make people change their mind about not having any gun controls if they actually saw the crime scene? Um, let's take a look at that and see if that will happen. Because I just got from those cards that democracy was going to get stronger as a, as a side effect of that horrible massacre. <clears throat> so we, we do, like the Asian boy band there, and you know, speaking out against hatred. And then, you know, what happened in Uvalde, uh, there was a lot of racism there. You can't help but wonder if it was an all-white upper crust school just saying um and the race racially motivated buffalo the real humans with real hearts which most people are are going to make a big difference in our democracy i see that i see that this is a you know this is the karma card Collectively, the United States of America is going through a very, very hard time. It's kind of karmic. It dates way back to the slavery days and the Civil War. But we, the light, as dark as the dark has been, the light will be as bright and brighter. And the Empress is the United States of America card to me. So through the darkness, we will have, we will see a great light. Is that a song? Through the darkness, I see a great light. I don't know, maybe I wrote a song like that. Through the darkness, there will be a great, a great bright light. I'm not just saying that. I'm really getting that. I wouldn't just say that anyway, right? So, let me give you a few cards to take through the next couple of days. Um, so, Bridge Cape Ann tomorrow evening. Won't be live. And um, then I'll be back. Friday. Before I pick you three cards for the next couple of days, I have space available if you want to book a reading this week. I do. I got all kinds of time. Annette Dion Psychic at gmail.com. I don't know. Maybe it's just a fluke. Anyway, um, and I'm having two pendulum classes. You're, you're welcome to repeat it if you would like to, because my classes are all different, because they're all you know, it's the top of my head, kind of. June 11th and June 18th. If you'd like to sign up, send an email to annettedion7 at gmail.com. Just let me know you're interested and I'll get back to you. And if you've already written me an email, I'm going to get back to you. June 11th and June 
18th, oh, both on Saturdays, 1 to 3 Eastern Time. Three cards for the next couple of days. <clears throat> I apologize if I was all over the place tonight. There's been a lot going on. We are rebuilding. America will be stronger. We cannot get discouraged. We have our work cut out for us. And, um, and I actually feel like Joe Biden's going to be smelling like a rose for all the good work he's doing. I do. I do. Love is the answer. Love will win. That's just the way it is. All right. I'll put my information in the description. I've been lazy about that. Please check out Church of Spirituality. It will uplift you, I believe. This past Sunday's was a little sad, but it was good. And uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you for all your support. Thank you for your kind comments. As you know, I do read them. I don't play favorites, so I don't comment very much. So um, thank you. Namaste. See you soon.